In this chapter you will learn how data communication works within the TIA portal. Data communication is defined as the communication between individual machines or controllers, including controllers from different manufacturers. Data communication is performed by a wide variety of communication mechanisms but can be easily configured via the TIA portal. A basic distinction is made between S7 communication and open communication. S7 communication is a popular communication mechanism which is used to connect thematic controllers with one another. It is a tool which has been valued for years due to its integration into the operating system of the S7 CPUs, meaning it has a solid track record as a reliable mechanism. The TIA portal also supports all open communication mechanisms, which are common textbook knowledge in the field of classical network technology. The easiest way to set up data communication between two controllers without programming is to use the Profinet function iDevice in the TIA portal. Apart from Profinet, there is also OPCUA. Manufacturers can offer certified clients or servers for it. Even these and many other communication mechanisms can be set up via the TIA portal. How is that done in the TIA portal? To create a connection between two CPUs, begin in the network view. Now click on Connections. To create an S7 connection, select the appropriate menu item. You can easily create the actual connection with a drag of the mouse. To confirm that your connection has been created correctly, you can check the Connections area of the table. Now you can exchange data over the corresponding blocks of the user program with a partner CPU. To read remote CPU data, as can be seen here in the example, we select Get. Certain data must be provided with a request, as the goal is to ensure that desired data is read. In addition, the access to the remote CPU block must be explicitly allowed. The Profinet function iDevice, on the other hand, can function without any programming. To activate this function, you must first change the mode of the I.O. controller to I.O. device. In doing so, the I.O. controller will become a Profinet I.O. device. The next step is to assign a Profinet I.O. controller to the resulting I.O. device. And in order for the two now configured I.O. controllers to communicate with one another, you have to create transfer areas. Once this is completed, the actual data exchange will ensue. These transfer areas are allocated input and output addresses on both sides. Once these addresses are assigned, they will serve as hardware IOs from the user program of the controller. With the TIA portal you can project various types of data communication, such as a 7 communication or open communication projects, communicate across systems, consistently use the same simple configuration mechanisms.